Hi, good morning children. How are you? I hope you are all fine. Welcome to Nirbhaya High School, Padmanaga Phase 2, Chintan. Digital Learning Classes to understand the subject easily. I am your English teacher, Astralakshmi Ma'am. Hi children, have you listened to express class and have written in the FA2 revision? Have you done in your homework books? I hope everyone has done. What we have completed yesterday, we have completed our vocabulary part and in one lesson, formal and creative writing. Yes, you learn. Now we are going to see all the formal and creative writing just in a simple way and grammar part little bit detail. Okay, children. See, first module three, grammar part. I will not write on the board. Yes, you open your workbooks. Who have not completed your work? Yes, now you can complete that by listening my words. Complete that work. Understood, children? Everyone open your workbooks and HW and write it. Whoever not completed, you can write in your workbooks also. Singular and plural nouns. In the grammar part, what it is, children? Singular and plural nouns. What are the singular nouns? Singular means one. Plural means more than one. Means how you will write churches then? You will write churches. Candy, candies. Okay, children? Now see your 3.1. Fill in the blanks with the correct plural forms. Or from the options. They have given the options there. You should write. First one. People say that cats have nine lives. What it is? Lives. Lives are lives are lives. I saw a few leopard playing in the zoo. Leopards are leopard. Leopards. Completed children. Yes. The dash are sleeping. The deer. Deers are not. Deer. Sleeping. I grew two in dash taller over the summer holidays. Inches. Leopards, it is inches. There are many good dash in the old city. Good dash in the old city. Many good libraries. Many good libraries. Next one. Look at those a dash in the sky. Aircraft. Aircraft's not. Air. Craft. So yeah, three point two. Change the underlined singular nouns to the plural form. Okay, children. I saw a boy run behind the deer. I saw here a boy. Is it? We should remove the a and we should write boys. We should write here boys because we should change the words which is underlined to the plural form. Run behind the deer. Deer will remain deer only. It will not change anything. Yes, children. Second. Smooth. Sumit is planting a tree. Sumit is planting trees. A tree, we will remove A. For only for the singular only, we will use A. For the plurals, we will not use A. Understood, children? I took a photograph of the moose. Now what it comes? I took photographs of the moose. The member of the winning country will get a prize. The members of the winning countries will get prizes. Member country prize. It is underlined. But here A is there. We should remove the A. That's all. The thief was stealing a cargo of cars. The thieves were. Was in the place of was. You should write W-E-R-E. Ver. And as a children. Ver. Stealing cargoes of cars. We should not write A. We should remove it. For the singular only we will use A. Yes. for In the singular form only we will use was. Plural form R, V, like this we'll use. Okay, children. I attended the birthday party of my friend. I attended the birthday parties of my friends. Yes, children, this is about your 3.1 and 3.2. Now coming to the countable and uncountable nouns. What are the countable nouns, children, which we can count by a number? One, two, three, four, we will count, no? They are called as countable nouns and which we can't count by a number. They are called as an uncountable noun. And as to children, everyone, you know, already I have explained you. Yes, this is a revision, so I am telling, I am not telling in a detailed. Okay, children. See here, countable means by counting, uncountable means which we can't count by number. Okay. Now, look at the given picture. <coughs> <coughs> right, see if they are countable nouns. Write you if they are uncountable nouns. Now, first one. Honey is uncountable. Table, you can count. Yes, children. Rice, you can uncountable. You can't count. You can measure so that it is an uncountable noun. Cheese, uncountable noun. Bird, 
uncountable. Star, uncountable. Star, uncountable noun. And it's such a letter. Here, make the following uncountable nouns as a countable noun. How you will make it? Rice. 2 kilograms of rice. Means we are writing here 2, 2 kilograms. Then you can measure it here. Kilogram, we are measuring by number here. Yes, sir. Kilogram of rice, like this. Water, a glass of water. Milk, 2 liters of milk. Furniture, 3 sofa sets or a piece of furniture. Jam, what it will tell? A bottle of jam. Salt, 1 kilogram of salt. Like this we can measure. Measuring means we are putting their number and we are measuring. So it comes under an countable nouns. When we have wanted an uncountable noun to make a countable noun, you should use like this. Rice, 2 kilograms of rice. Water, a glass of water. Like this we are writing means it becomes a countable noun. And what is in the formal writing? Friendly letter writing. You can write your friend. For your friend you should write. Yes, you learn. Prepare that. Here they have given outline. They have given here outline. But in the exam, they can give outline or they can't. They will not give. See, what you should write? You should write full. And as a children, what is there? You should write the letter to your friend telling about unity of your country and also write about your various cultures and different languages. What it is, children, here? See, Lane 33, Bandri Nagar, JP Nagar, Bangalore. This you can write your friend's address and date. When you are writing a letter, that date only you should write. And dear Shalu, here you can write your name or your friend's name. How have you been? I have been waiting to finish my school project on India. The land of unity in diversity to write to you about it. The project showed how the people of India live in peace and harmony. Dash. So, they speak different languages and have different culture. Do you know that there are 29 states and 7 union territories in India? Yet, people unite in the name of the country. Our cricket, hockey and other sport team have people from different parts of India. Are you reading after me children? Read it. Who play together for the country? People celebrate festivals together and share each other's joy. Happily, I am very proud of our country and the people who live here in peace and harmony. I wish you could visit India during Christmas. My neighbor Susan auntie makes yummy cakes and biscuits for all of us at that time. I told you that how we do it in India. We celebrate together. Do write and let me know when you plan to visit India. See you once again. I will read children. Date, address. And your friend name you should write. Okay. Now, how have you been? I have been waiting to finish my school project on India. The land of unity in diversity to write to you about it. The project showed how the people of India live in peace and harmony. Though they speak different languages and have different cultures. Do you know that there are 29 states and 7 union territories in India? At People unite in the name of the country. Our cricket, hockey and other sports team have people from different parts of India who play together for the country. People celebrate festival together and share each other's joy happily. I am very proud of our country and the people who live here in the peace and harmony. I wish you could visit India. During Christmas, my neighbor Susan auntie makes Emmy cakes and biscuits for all of us that time. I told you that's how we do it in India. We celebrate together. Do write and let me know when you plan to visit India. With warm regards, your name. Okay, children. This is your formal writing. Creative writing is what? Sketch, character sketch. You should write about your friend. Okay, children. This is your own. Your friend qualities, I don't know, no. You know about your friend, you write it about your friend. And as you children, now coming to the module, which lesson? Module 4, workbook part. We are not having so much time to every lesson one, one day to do. Yes, children, see here. <coughs> pronouns. What are pronouns? Tell me, children. Yes, instead of a noun, we are using the pronouns. We are having different types of pronouns. Subject pronoun. Object pronoun, reflexive pronoun, relative pronoun we are having. 
Okay, children. First, we will see the subject pronoun. It performs action. Object pronoun it receives the action. Reflexive pronoun it tells it point it tells what it is about the subject again. Understood, children? See, children. Reflexive pronoun it tells about ourselves. Okay, about the subject here. And coming to the possessive pronoun, it shows it points also. It tells about the belongings. It tells about the belongings. Okay, children. First 3.1. Underline the pronoun in the sentence. Write SP for the subject pronoun, OP for the object pronoun, RP for the reflexive pronoun. Here you can tell very easily. She is good. She is a good singer. She is what? It is a subject pronoun. Second one. Rahul was waiting for me. Me. It is object pronoun. Lily cooked by herself. Here, remember children, reflexive pronoun means it comes self, selfs. Other word. Or uh, yes, herself. Or uh, reflexive pronoun. I cooked a delicious meal. I. It's a subject pronoun. Joy bought himself a new book. Himself. It is a reflexive pronoun. The big dog belongs to him. Underline him. And write object pronoun. Possessive pronoun. I said, you know, it tells it's, this book is mine. That house is ours. Like this it tells. A See here 3.2. Complete the sentence using possessive pronouns. Mine, yours, ours, his, hers, it's that, this. That is your dog. That dog is your. The dog is yours. This is our house. The house is ours. These rabbits belongs to her. These rabbits are hers. That is my bus. The bus is mine. Those are his toys. Those toys are his toys. That car belongs to them. It is theirs. And the children, theirs. Means here, it is a module 4, module 4, 3.2. Okay, children. And coming to 3.3. Fill in the blanks with the type of pronouns given in the brackets. You should fill in the blank with the type of given in the bracket. Means they have given which type of pronoun you should write there. What is she doing in the park? The doctor gave medicines to Dash. Object pronoun. Her, him. You can write your wish. This is an apple. It is Dash. Possessive pronoun. Mine. This is your task. Chris, can you complete it by yourself? Yourself. You should write your reflexive pronoun. Yourself. This pen is dash. Please return to them. Possessive pronoun. Dash return to them. Them means what? This. They hit dash inside the castle. Reflexive pronoun. They themselves. They hit themselves in the castle. See children. Following paragraph has six incorrect pronouns. Read out the paragraph using the correct pronouns. Okay. Rani was excited. He was going to a concert. Here Rani was excited. Rani is she or he? She. Rani was excited. She was going to a concert. She would be going with her friends. Ira and Rishi. <clears throat> she was happy to be go going with them. With they. They have written. You should write them. Yeah. Rani dressed herself in new clothes before the concert. She also wore a new watch. It, was, it had a brown strap and a square dial. Rani asked her brother to give her the bag that he had borrowed. The bag was hers. And she wanted to carry a few things with it. Rani and her friends reached the correct location and asked for directions to the concert hall. That is the hall where the concert will be held. It is at the end of this corridor, said a lady. This is about your 3.4. You should change the words in correct pronouns and pro correct pronouns. And as children. Now, formal writing. What is there in the formal writing? Write a letter, formal letter. Yes, I have explained you already. Just once you check it out, how to write it. And story writing. You can think this story or it can be other story also. Yes. Now, module 5, grammar part. <coughs> what is the children in the module 5 grammar part? About the adjectives. Degree of comparison. Degree of comparison means what? Positive degree, comparative degree and superlative degree. Comparative. Degree of comparison is there means what we are comparing. When we are comparing, it comes the degree of comparison. Now we are not comparing, we are telling about one person. It is a positive degree. When we are comparing between two persons, it is a comparative degree. When we are comparing about more than two persons, it is a superlative degree. 
Understood, children, everyone? See here, 3.1. What it is there? Uh, Adan was excited. He was going to the market by himself. For the first time, he entered the busy market and went to a shop. He bought some juice and three packets of biscuits. He had enough money to buy these things. Here, adjective of quality is there. Adjective of quantity is there. Adjective of number is there. Adjective of quality means what? It tells how it is. Adjective of quantity, how much it is. Adjective number, the position. Understood, children? See. Now, coming to the 3.2. Complete the table with the positive and comparative, comparative and superlative degrees. See. Positive, quick. Comparative, quicker. Superlative, quickest. Here, what you should write in the comparative, we'll use ER most. In the next superlative, we'll write EST. Dark, darker, darkest. Young, younger, youngest. Poor, poorer, poorest. Bright, brighter, brightest. Strong, stronger, strongest. Understood, children? Fill in the blanks with the correct form of adjectives. See here. Praveen is too lazy to exercise daily. Rajesh is taller than his brother Rakesh. Amruta likes wearing big earrings with her sari. May is the warmest month of the year. May is the warmest month of the year. Total year we are comparing. Yes, children. This shoe is cleaner than the other. That is the brightest star in the sky. Here you all, you should rewrite the paragraph using the correct degree of comparison. See a children once in the superlative and comparative. Now comparative degree is there. Now I said good in this positive. Means I'm just comparing this girl is a good girl. Now she is good. She is good I should tell her she is better than the other. Yes. And she is the best in the class. I will tell. Means here what happened here when I am comparing two persons I have used the word better. When I am comparing more than two members I use the word best. I just without comparing I said she is good. Okay children. Here good means we are not comparing. We are telling about herself. And next we are coming to the comparative means here we are comparing between two persons. We are telling better. After that we are comparing between more than two persons that is called as the best. Understood? Beautiful, more beautiful, most beautiful. Understood children? Like this you should write your superlative, comparative and positive degree of comparisons. It is about adjectives. Understood children? This is your module 5 vocabulary part. Sorry, grammar part. We have completed the module 3, module 4, module 5, vocabulary part, formal writing and creative writing also. Vocabulary yesterday we have completed. Today we have completed grammar and formal creative writing. Understood children? Everyone practice in your, FA, in your homework book children, FA2 revision. Understood everyone? Yes?